Corbridge Roman town isn't actually on Hadrian's Wall. It's a little bit behind it. And so it started off as an army base uh, where the soldiers would have lived, but it then turned into this amazing, vibrant Roman town. And we're so lucky because we just have this wealth of finds that can tell us more about sort of Roman life and all the people living together here. So we think that it was probably a bit of um, a rest and relaxation place for some of the soldiers as well. So we've got families living here, we've got tradesmen, we've got merchants, we've got soldiers sometimes stationed here but often coming for time off from the wall. And that means that we've just got this huge range of finds. So some of them are Roman armour, so we've got some of the best preserved Roman armour in the whole Roman Empire here. Um, we've got weapons, but we've also got tools. We've got items that Romans would have played with in their time off. Gambling was illegal, but we've got dice, we've got games boards, and so we can sort of reconstruct what they did with their free time. And we have these amazing insights into the items that they would have used. So we've got beautiful glass vessels, some of which are painted with um, incredible animals. So we've got part of a, a blue spotted leopard. But we also see the relationships, how people loved and lost. So we've got two very moving gravestones of, of two children who didn't make it beyond six. And they've got these big gravestones that probably would have been painted, set up as monuments to them and the loss of those families. And I, I find those kind of monuments really moving because it gives you an insight into how some things never change over time.